Hello, people. Hello. <laughs> I have Emily with me here today. She <laughs> and um, she is going to help me talk about something that always comes up and you guys always ask me this question and whenever I talk about fat this question comes up as well a few weeks ago I did a video with Steph and we kind of talked about the role of fat and how um, you know it's not ideal for your body to run off fat and a lot of people seem to mistake that with the fact that we can't run off fat and we definitely can run off fat yeah but it's not ideal and that's what we're going to talk about with Emily today because she's actually studied nutrition and yeah, biology and um, so none of you can come down and comment below like <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're fucking talking about okay guys I'm not qualified yes. but I feel like I've had tertiary education in this and I've, actually, I've done two out of three years yeah. and the whole third year is just clinic where you're basically learning just how to interact with people it's got nothing to do with the actual theory or the science or anything I've already done all of that yeah I'm not claiming to know everything I'm not claiming to be qualified but I definitely feel like I can bring something to yeah. this topic exactly because I've studied it um so we're gonna talk about the paleo diet and we're gonna talk about high fat diets in general and why they are so popular at the moment why people are losing weight on them yeah and why it seems to be the go-to thing at the moment why people are still afraid of carbohydrates so where should we start so where should we start okay so there's so much to talk about in the bloody paleo diet I know I the paleo diet I like I understand and people's desire to maybe want to eat the way that we're physiologically meant to eat, how we might have eaten a few thousand years ago when our species was first, you know. Evolving. Yeah, but the paleo diet just makes no fucking sense. Yeah. No sense. Scientists no. have actually now come out saying that the time of evolution when that when we were evolving the majority of our diet was actually from starch most of our brain growth came, came from, from starch, cooked starches yeah. when we discovered fire and we could actually cook yeah cook starches. food with that yeah so we could actually get you know a lot of calories a lot more from calories, carbs yeah. and starches and yeah. so the whole paleo thing is completely flawed but even when people take the paleo mindset and they put it into their day-to-day -day life it's really just a high um fat low carbohydrate diet yeah. they're removing all grains um most of the time they remove dairy as well and they're living off meat almost no fruit and vegetables yeah because fruit has too much sugar yeah so they're living off meat and vegetables and um although you know some paleo diets can be much healthier than uh, mcdonald's or you know all that kind of stuff it's still completely it's still like completely are going against your natural um, methods of you know how you would normally use and store energy yeah when someone eats a high fat diet what essentially is happening there well when you eat a high fat diet so your body your brain runs primarily on glucose that is its preferred fuel source glucose is a simple sugar yes your body can most easily obtain that from carbohydrates mm. carbohydrates that can be broken down into glucose you can have simple sugar like table sugar or whatever and that's pretty much already glucose in its natural form there's, so there's that or you can have more complex carbohydrates which are things like starches so like oats and potatoes and root veggies all that kind of thing but those starches are very easily broken down into simple sugars like glucose mm. which your body can then absorb and and then of course there's yeah. fruit which is also super easily broken yeah. down but unlike the table sugar it has the nutrients and the fiber and, and the, the water. vitamins and the water and yeah. everything that you really need to go along with yeah. that sugar yeah. everything in there that yeah. we actually need to yeah. live mm. and thrive and survive and Mm. function properly mm. fats don't give you that so when people are eating these high these high fat diets and they're restricting their carbohydrates how come they can still function how come they're losing weight and how come you know it's all working for them I think a lot of people have to remember that obviously if you're coming from a standard American diet where yeah. you're eating lots of frozen meals or fast food or McDonald's just, just or shit like when your body goes from eating these processed heavy in salt and refined fats and refined sugar yeah and then they're going to the paleo diet where they've you know cut out some food groups they've cut out dairy which is probably the only good thing about mm. the paleo diet and they're eating lots more veggies and stuff like that 
obviously you're going to lose weight. Yeah. Obviously you're going to lose weight. Yeah, Like exactly. your body is going to respond to that food so much better because it can actually get some nutrients out of it. Yeah. Whereas it couldn't before mm. when you were living on McDonald's three times a week yeah. and whatever else you were eating. I mean, when you come onto a high fat diet and yeah. you're eating majority of your calories from fat, your body is still going to go, okay, this is what we're getting. This yeah. is what we're going to work yeah. with. So it's not that your body can't run off fat. Of course it can. If it, if it has to, it will start to turn fat into energy. How yes. does it do that? Well, it does it via ketosis. Mm. So yeah, if you are eating a diet, any, any diet other than a high carb diet or yeah. a diet that restricts carbohydrates, you're going to put your body into ketosis. Mm. So it could be a high protein diet or a high fat diet. Either way, you're going to end up in this state. Yeah. It's essentially called starvation mode. It is called starvation mode for a reason. So basically, because your body does prefer glucose as its energy source to give you energy and to live and Make just go about work. your <laughs> yeah, just go about your day to day lives. But when you force it into a high fat or high protein diet, as Bonnie said, your body just goes, okay, well this is what I've got to work with. Like I have to survive somehow, so I'm going to do my best. Mm. So basically. You can't break fats and proteins down into sugar. It just doesn't work. You can't do it. So it turns these foods through several processes into ketone bodies. And those ketone bodies are what fuel your brain while you're in this famine state mm -hmm. where it can't find carbohydrates. And that's what keeps you alive, essentially. So it eats, not, eats into not only the fat and protein that you're consuming, but also, also your, your fat, fat and stores, protein yeah. stores, which is why you're losing weight. Exactly. Yeah. You are literally starving yourself and your body has no option but to yeah. rely on its backup sources because it, it's not getting its it's correct not getting fuel the carbohydrates. Source. Exactly. Yeah. If you're eating a high fat diet and you're also restricting your calories, so you're only having say 1500 calories a day, that isn't enough calories for the body to function. But if you're you know, an ad adult, yeah. then um, 1500 calories is not enough. So it is going to go into its stores, which is why you start to lose body yeah. fat. If you weren't restricting your calories and you're eating 3,000 calories on this high fat diet, of fat, I mean, you that would, would be almost on weight. You would put on weight. Yeah. You'd feel fucking sick. Yeah. Like um, a lot of you watching this would know. Yeah. If you're eating a high carb, low fat diet, and then you start eating a high fatty, uh, you eat a high fat meal, you feel like crap. Yeah. You are going to slow down your metabolism because your body has to learn to survive on fewer calories and the incorrect fuel source. Yeah. It's it thinks you're starving. Mm. It thinks that you're in a famine and. It doesn't know when you're going to get adequate food again so it slows down your metabolism so that you burn through those calories slower so that mm. you can stay alive mm. that's just a natural process yeah. to keep you alive it happens with anyone whether you're purposely starving yourself yeah. or are a starving child yeah. somewhere exactly your body the doesn't same know the thing's difference. happening yeah. yeah and a lot of people tend to then rely on things like coffee because i don't think i've ever met anyone on the paleo diet that does not drink coffee so Loves because coffee. they're not getting their energy from food they start to drink coffee instead yeah. and therefore they get their energy from coffee i could say as well that a lot of people think that they want to be on a ketosis diet mm, they're like, oh, because that sense, makes you yes, lose yes. weight and people associate losing weight with being healthy which mm. is not the case but ketosis ketone bodies are actually very very acidic it creates, it creates really acidic environment, environment. it creates an environment that harbors disease yeah so Literally like cancers heart disease diabetes yeah like all of those yeah and we wonder why so many thousands of millions of people in western countries are dying of these diseases every single day it's because the majority of us are either eating a shit ton of animal products and not really caring about what we eat but that will still cause the same problems or we're starving ourselves by Obviously. going on low carb diets yeah. Of course we're going to end up with these diseases. Your and, body doesn't yeah. want to run on that. Yeah. Using fat as that, as that fuel source and that is going to cause some problems. So yes, you're going to lose weight. Um, short term you're gonna lose weight and it's definitely not going to be sustainable because let's be honest who the fuck can live without carbs people blame themselves when they can't continue yeah. on their diets because they're just freaking out and they just yeah. want all the shit food they can get their hands yeah. on it's but, because your body just wants carbs exactly 
all your brain is thinking of is when the fuck am I going to get the right calories yeah. again? Your sugar cravings are next level on these diets. They're eating stevia oh, because yeah. it's sweet. Yeah. They're trying to convince themselves that rice malt syrup isn't a type of sugar because <laughs> it's not fructose. Bitch, that shit is sugar, okay? <laughs> fuck you, Sarah Wilson. It is sugar. They're trying to find these sugar substitutes because they don't want the calories from sugar, but they want the taste of sugar. And they don't because... want the carbs from sugar. Yeah, exactly. But they want sugar. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's what your body wants. Yeah, it tastes good to us, all of us humans, and that's completely natural. We want to eat large quantities, and we want to eat, you know, delicious, sweet things, and that's <gasps> that's why a vegan diet is so ideal because you can eat all the calories and you can eat, you know, as much as your body actually wants and still be healthy and lean. Really pisses me off when people say that sugar is like as addictive as cocaine oh or something. Like, God. it's like of course. It's Addictive, bro. Our body that's runs what like what? Like, <laughs> of course it's addictive. Obviously, your body's gonna crave that. Like, there's no tomorrow mm. because that's what it runs on. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap up the video here, but pretty much overall, I hope you guys now understand why you lose weight on a paleo diet, why it is unsustainable as fuck and really bad for your body, and why you should definitely not do it <laughs> not only because it's gonna mess with your body long term. And you know what? You want something that is gonna last a lifetime you want you want it so that in 10 years you don't even have to think or worry about your weight you want yeah. it to be so that you're setting yourself up for your future to be healthier and happier you don't want it to be the other way around okay don't do short-term gains to get long-term really bad side effects yeah and not only for yourself but for the fucking animals man come on like if you wouldn't if you wouldn't go and slit a cow's throat and cut it up for dinner don't pay someone else to do it for you otherwise the paleo thing it doesn't Matter if it's, but it's completely irrelevant if you're living a paleo yeah. lifestyle yet you wouldn't kill your own meat then that's completely irrelevant to live the paleo lifestyle because they're claiming, that's what they were doing yeah they're claiming that that's what's natural and it's obviously not so also for the planet like i said it's completely unsustainable this paleo thing so for so many reasons the paleo is a big bum bum <laughs> Don't listen to Pete Evans or Sarah Wilson. Yeah, they can go listen suck to mine. us. If you want a doctor's advice, and we strongly suggest Dr. McDougall, Dr. Esselstein, Dr. Barnard. Ben Barnard. Is it, it's Barnard, isn't it? Barnard. <laughs> Dr. Bernard. Bernard. <laughs> They're all really good doctors. I'll link some of their stuff down below. They all promote a high carb vegan lifestyle and they all are reversing the major diseases and illnesses in the world through this diet. Cancer, mm. heart disease and diabetes. diabetes I yeah. believe that they are the three. We covered everything? I think so. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Leave any of your questions down below and me or Emily will reply to you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat, let's change the way we live, and let's change the way we treat each other.